Okay, so um, black soldier fly larva just chowing down. And uh, I put them back in the original bin. This is the original uh, black soldier fly larva bin. And um, uh, let's see, so I, I moved them from just the temporary one. They're already getting bigger. So I guess in about um, two weeks. Oh, there's an ant, that sucks. Lame. Uh, anyways, in about two weeks-ish is where uh, we should start to see uh, the larva, uh, they'll crawl up the pipes right here. And um, these cuts also help for them to uh, enter and probably could do a better job, to be honest. Like one uh, thought while I'm thinking out loud is maybe just to put some uh, silicone to connect it to the sidewall. But um, anyway, so they, in theory, will climb up and uh, they'll be uh, mature, ready to pupate and um, be on their way to uh, becoming a black soldier fly. And so a mature black soldier fly, uh, specifically the female, um, I redid uh, this, the, this is supposed to be bedding for um, them to lay their eggs. Apparently corrugated cardboard is a thing that uh, they can get into, so, for laying eggs. So in theory, uh, the, uh, the eggs will get laid into the corrugated cardboard, and as it um, uh, starts to, I guess, mature and hatch, then um, the larva will fall out on top of the food. So the cycle should keep continuing. Um, I had been overtaken by ants, and uh, so I, I did have um, maggots in here after like the ants just stormed it. So this time I am uh, keeping it in the wagon and kind of moving it around. It's very cat and mouse. Uh, <laughs> modern problems require modern solutions. And so um, anyways, uh, they should, uh, Hopefully, if I can get the cycle actually going, uh, now that there's also like the pheromones or the scent, there's some part that when there's actually larva in here, they should attra attract um, females to come lay eggs. So the females are coming into uh, this pipe, uh, shimmying down, and then laying eggs in the corrugated cardboard. And so I, I also redid um, the cardboard. Before I had it just kind of hanging it's kind of curry curry from this pipe underneath. And um, uh, I've got it now. Uh, I, I'm making use of just these little gaps here on this uh, tote that I got at uh, Costco. And um, I've got twine uh, and zip ties and uh, also have it bundled together. So I'm really hoping this works. Um, hmm. So anyways, yeah, that's, that's, that's about it. So I, I finally, I had so many ants. I did have maggots in here. Um, the cycle, aside from the ants, uh, that I've read other people experiencing is where, um, it'll be like regular flies and then somewhere along the way, um, black soldier fly larva, uh, come along. So because I got overrun with ants and I only found uh, the maggots, which I believe were regular fly maggots, um, I only found them after I started cleaning it out. And I was like, okay, let me reset the bin. Cause there was just, I mean, the thing was practically its own ant hill. It was just, it really sucked. And so um, then uh, I dumped in 10,000 larva uh, that I got from a local company um, here in Texas, uh, that actually specializes in black soldier flies, uh, and larva. And so I picked up, a uh, 10,000 larva from them, uh, to reset the bin. And then, um, that's, that's where we're at. And it is insane how much food these little guys and girls eat. I am astonished. Um, like the, let's see, let's see if I can find it. Okay, so that's a lamb bone. And 
it looks like, uh, I don't think video is really doing it justice. It looks like piranhas got to it. And so, um, uh, this is, I am actually desperate. So I, I don't really, I normally I would eat this. Um, but because I started running out of food, I, and I actually had to text my neighbors and be like, Hey, uh, weird question. Um, if you've got any kitchen scraps and, uh, uh, stuff that you're putting in the trash can, uh, may I please have it? So that's, that's, uh, they cleared through and emptied out, um, pretty much everything that I had put in last night. And it was like this kind of amount that you're looking at right now. And so these little guys and girls devour a lot in a short amount of time. It's astonishing. And so I will sit here dump all this and I'm actually so desperate for um, for like I said normally I would I would try to eat all this uh, I the dressing sucks but it was actually the wrong order from um, a couple days ago but I like ate everything and then I was like well I'm not gonna eat the potato skin uh, I'm not gonna I don't really like the dressing they've put on, so, uh, and since I'm desperate to keep, uh, these larvae just chowing down and well-fed and happy, and hopefully attract some, uh, some of the, uh, female, uh, soldier fly to lay more eggs, so I'm trying to right now just kind of go overboard, but, um, so I'll check in. I bet more of this tomorrow uh, is going to be gone, and it's just a battle with these bastard ants. Ugh. And this is after I have have moved it. Um, I probably got uh, stung by, if I had to guess, probably 20 or 30 ants just trying to move this. Like, I was getting stung everywhere. And, and that was after washing it and everything. So it's right now it's a ongoing battle uh, between the ants and I. Um, I also, besides uh, these changes right here, um, I also used a much stronger um, silicone caulk that uh, I'm hoping it holds better. And then I also, uh, the same story here. And then, um, let's see, where is... Oh, okay, it's on the set. Um, I made notches. I'm going to cover this in the blog article about how um, mistakes were made. But all in all, uh, this is working pretty good. Also, Dremeled, uh, this, it's just like an oat milk bottle um, from Costco. And so I Dremeled the top, and I've got it pretty flush. I uh, deburred it a little. And so... Uh, when the soldier fly larvae start to mature, they will crawl up those pipes. They'll come through this junction right here. And then uh, they will sit there and drop into here. And then um, I need to... Uh, uh, most people would let it drop and let the chickens or the fish eat them. Um, I'm... Once I am sure that I have several tens of thousands of uh, soldier fly larvae, then I'll do that. But since I've got to just get this colony going, um, I am going to try to uh, start breeding them in a mesh net, so in a mosquito net that I uh, got. And uh, adults, the adult flies don't have mouths, uh, so like not, not the kind for being able to like actually eat food. So they have to have uh, sugar water and they're pollinators just like bees and um, uh, go for nectar. And so uh, I've got to then, speaking of ants, it's gonna be another glorious battle against the ants, but I will try to put out sugar water and then uh, sit there and keep uh, females um, and of course males, but uh, keep them fed with sugar water and then um, I'll probably end up using this bin right here, just stick it in a, um, uh, inside the mesh net 
uh, hopefully high enough on the table that it keeps the ants away. And, um, and so the theory is that I'll be able to, like the, uh, they'll come out on the side, uh, they'll uh, turn into flies, the flies will then repeat the cycle by flying into here to uh, put eggs into the corrugated cardboard and then um, uh, the, as the eggs hatch, then we're back to the uh, same story. So then larva eating on uh, food. So uh, sorry for the long-winded uh, video, but yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's where we're at right now. So just banging away on, uh, on all these uh, really awesome larva. Uh, another thing I think I might do that um, at least ants don't really care about is uh, start collecting feces, uh, specifically like my dog's waste. And um, if I get desperate, uh, I'm gonna start putting that in. And then uh, if I get really desperate, maybe even <laughs> maybe even add uh, human feces as well. Um, it's a different kind of bacteria and it does like, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, black soldier flies, eat it, blah, blah, blah. It's not my first pick, so that's only if I get, like, really, really desperate um, to keep all the soldier fly uh, fed. Because, um, like, this looks like a lot of compost, and it looks like a lot of food, but it's going to be devoured in a very short amount of time.